Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video because we got really good news. So, the video came out last week where I told you guys that Heavy Metal got robbed. It was terrible. I've showed in the video. I'll show that footage at the end of this. If you didn't see the original video, I'll just go on and put the, the uh, video here of the day that it happened. Long story short, my good buddy Paul at Heavy Metal got took for a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Um, you guys have been blowing my phone up day and night asking for updates, so that's literally what this is. Uh, but, long story short, they caught the dudes. Uh, big shout out to all the law enforcement around here, our county, the next county. Um, I'm not going to give you all the details because that's not really my business to talk about, uh, but I'll link down below if you guys want to go over to my buddy Paul's and catch all the details from him. Um, uh, long story short, surveillance, they saw some stuff and they said, oh, we know that's Paul's, uh, and they got them, cuffed them, all that jazz, you know, whatever they do when they arresting people and all that. Uh, like I said, I'll leave it up to Paul to give you all the details. That's not really my business to talk about, but good news and bad news. Good news, uh, they caught them. Bad news is... All that, they're calling evidence, and they're saying it could be a year and a half or even longer before Paul gets all that stuff back, uh, which on one hand is okay, whatever. Uh, I guess that's standard procedure, but on the other hand, it's like, really? Why does a trial take that long? And you already obviously have the list. You caught the guys the next day, and you got to hold on to that stuff for 500, 600 days. You know, that's kind of a joke. Um, so he can't even get his stuff back for a super long time. Uh, but good news, like I said, they called him. Bad news is the government's got to hold on to all that evidence for a really long time. My buddy Paul is just out of all his stuff. Um, uh, I don't even know, um, if they got everything, but I'll, I'll leave that up to Paul. Um, y'all can go check out his videos, but let me roll in the video right here. Uh, the day after it happened, if you didn't hear the story. Uh, but good news is, they caught him. Stay tuned uh, for more updates. Y'all go down below. I'll get you the link to the video from Paul uh, where he talks more about it. Y'all go subscribe to his channel. But here's the footage from the day after in case you missed it. And I'll link down below um, Paul's video. Y'all can go check it out get more details from him. Appreciate y'all. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is not going to be a fun video. This is not clickbait. This is real. Showed up to Heavy Metal this morning. My FFL, my good buddy. We've been doing business for probably five years now. Showed up. I could tell immediately something was wrong. Just the look on their face. Somebody robbed Heavy Metal last night. Came through the window ransacked the whole shop took a large majority of everything got handguns long guns shotguns just about cleared my buddy paul's entire collection there was a bfr 350 legend in there there was a desert eagle 50 ae in there there was a fk berno in there they took two of my CZ shotguns I had over here, cleared them out. If you know anybody in Middle Tennessee, any crackheads, anybody trying to sell you something on the side, let me know, let Paul know. Down here at Heavy Metal, this just happened last night. I'm going to post this video as soon as I can, but they came in the side window. Local police already been here. They got the big wigs on their way. Like I said, I just rolled up, but... I'm going to take you inside, show you just a little bit, but if y'all know anybody in Middle Tennessee trying to offload a big old pile of guns, let us know. Let the police know. Just happened last night, like I said, and they got to be somebody skinny because they fit through some real skinny bars. I'll show you here in a second. Down there on the ground is the window, and you can see how skinny those bars are. I'd say somebody have to be, you know, that's almost... There's my hand. They'd have to get their hips through there 18 inches or something. 
this is where they came in and came out and just took everything. So there had to be some kind of skinny crackhead to get through that window. And then coming in, they cleared out all the handguns. Cleared out, cleared out. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Busted a bunch of the glass, nothing in there. Took stuff out of here. They took something out of there. They took stuff off the wall. Cleared out this whole case. There were some more bing bangs up here that they took out. This box, they took everything out of there. And then there was a whole bunch of extra stuff even back behind that they took and uh, took for two. Desert Eagle was in there. A BFR 350 Legend was in there. All gone and took out that little skinny window. But like I said, this is serious business. This is not a joke. If y'all could do anything to help out my buddy Paul, go subscribe to his channels, Heavy Metal Guns and Heavy Metal Customs on his custom shop. He builds a bunch of custom, car custom cars. Go subscribe to his channel. That won't cost you nothing. Go subscribe to Heavy Metal Guns. That won't cost you nothing. He's got a Patreon page. I'll put the link down below. If y'all feel like blessing him on his Patreon, he could really use the help. They took thousands and thousands and thousands of Bing Bangs and Bulat Slingers out of the shop last night. Can't believe it. Like I said, the local cops have already come. You know, who knows what will come of that. The bigger wigs are on their way right now. They're fixing to show up. But if y'all could do anything to help out Paul, go subscribe to his channels. That'll be down below, like I said. I'll put his Patreon down below if y'all feel like blessing him on his Patreon. That would truly, truly, truly mean a lot. But he said, I think he's got a picture. So I'm going to take a picture and put it at the end of this video here of everything that we know that was taken last night. So let me show, show you that real quick. But, like I said, terrible, terrible situation. But if you can, help out my buddy Paul. All the links will be down below. Subscribe to his channels. Stream them all day long. That helps a lot. And if you can, bless him on his Patreon. That would help out in a huge, huge way. Like I said, his whole collection got ransacked last night. Some of them, some real, real high dollar items. Appreciate y'all. Share this video everywhere you can. Facebook, Instagram, email, tell everybody you know about it. Like I said, bad, bad situation. We would have never thought this would happen to us, but appreciate y'all. Spread this video everywhere. Make sure everybody sees it. If you're around Middle Tennessee and you have any information, let us know. Give us a call. Let the cops know something. Uh, if we can find this stuff quick, that would be even, even better. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one.